have a house viewing today. So I didn't tell you guys yet, but I'm actually here to pick up my new car. I mean, look at that. And there we have it. Pop those back into the freezer. Good morning, everybody. God, my voice feels so weird. I've only just woken up, as you can tell by the way I look. And you were the first people I've spoken to this morning. How are we all? I hope we're all very, very well. Today is currently Monday and I'm up bright and early. My alarm went off at 6.30. May have snoozed it until quarter to seven, but I'm up and I'm about to go to the gym. Do you like the t-shirt I've got on? We've got Beyonce going on this morning. I feel like if you don't go to the concert and buy a t-shirt and then wear it to bed afterwards, you're doing it all wrong. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, let's put some gym gear on and yeah. It's a very beautiful day this morning. The sun is shining so bright. Can you see the sweat on my face? Can you see it? Guys, I've been on the running machine for 30 minutes. I've not been running though. I did um, 15 gradient on 5.0 speed. It's just like an uphill, really hard, like hard pace walk. It just makes me sweat, like without being like horrible cardio, if you know what I mean. I can send some emails at the same time. I can be on my phone if I need to be. So I'm not kind of just like wasting time on here. And now I'm gonna do an arm set. I have been productive. I've been to the gym. I have made myself a cup of lemon water. At the moment, I don't really want to talk about this all too much actually because I feel like talking about dieting and things like that, number one, it's kind of annoying. And number two, I feel like it can be quite triggering for people as well, including myself, I'd like to add. But I'm not on a diet. I've mentioned this before. Your girl is not dieting. I'm just on like a healthy lifestyle change. So I feel like if I speak about it, just know that I'm not doing any like crazy sort of like calorie deficit or anything like that. I'm just trying to improve myself both physically and mentally. But the reason I'm telling you this, hang on, let me go and wet my beauty blender if I can find it. As I was saying, the reason I'm telling you about this is because number one at the moment, it's kind of consuming my life, sort of. It's just something I've really wanted to focus on. I feel like it's gonna just make me feel better. But it's because the reason I didn't make any breakfast is because I'm actually fasting at the moment. So I'm doing this thing where you only eat for eight hours of the day and you don't eat until anything between 12 to 16 hours after you last ate. Don't quote me on any of that. I'm not a nutritionist or a fasting expert. But, but I have actually done a little bit of research and I also have spoken to a professional about how to do this So so far it's actually going really well. Anyway, that is enough about all that because this is not a fitness channel This is just real life. Anyway, I'm actually getting ready because I have a house viewing today Well, I actually have two. I have two house viewings and I haven't been to a house viewing since well February which is a well, we're July now which is a really really long time but as I've also mentioned in another vlog there's been nothing on the market that I've even seen that I've liked enough to even book a view in. Like, nothing. It's really not been a good situation. But the other day, I was having a little browse, and I saw these two houses, and I thought, one is out of the budget. Well, just out of the budget. The other one is within budget. They both need work doing to them, completely modernising. But because the one that is out of budget has already been reduced, it looks like there's no one living there as well. So I'm kind of thinking... I might be able to go in a little bit lower as it's out of budget and you never know they might be in a situation where they just want to get rid of it who knows I don't know myself so I thought I'd book the view in anyway that can sometimes be lethal though because I feel like not all the time but most of the time you end up liking the thing whether it's a house a handbag a pair of shoes you always like the thing that's out of budget and then you kind of, well, I do, I become obsessed with it. And then everything else I see afterwards, I'm like, mm, I don't really like it because I'm always comparing it to the house that was out of budget in the first place. Does that make any sense? But regardless of all of that, it is quite exciting because you never know. I might find the house of my dreams today or I might put in an offer and it get accepted. It's all just, yeah, it's all stuff to look forward to. And it kind of gets the ball rolling again because I feel like after last time and it all going wrong for the 150th time, it just kind of exhausts you and you think, I don't want anything to do with that for a while. I now feel in the headspace where like, I'm ready to kind of look again. This is also probably the most random thing I'm ever gonna ask you all. Well, let's not say ever, because I definitely ask some random questions here and there, but have any of you ever had, this is, sorry if this makes you squeamish and it's not really the most attractive thing in the world, but has any of you ever had varicose vein removal before? Because I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm just gonna be honest, you know, put it out there, I have, a vein on my leg that's actually been there for absolutely years i feel like almost forever 
definitely since my early 20s. I've never actually gone to go see anyone about it or anything, but I'm pretty much sure it's turning into a varicose vein, which is just stunning. Why do all these great things happen as you get older? I just don't even know. And over the years, it hasn't really bothered me too much, but it is getting considerably worse. And I feel like I want to get it removed, but the thought of getting it removed makes me so squeamish. And like, I've looked at videos online and I'm also a little bit scared of getting it done as well. Cause I'm like, is this actually safe? And it seems like such a big vein. I'm like, how is this gonna work? But that's why I love the fact that I've got all you on the internet. that I can ask these questions too and be like, have any of you ever had done this before? How did it go? Is it as scary as it sounds? Is it painful? Like, I'm sure there must be one of you out there that's had it done. And if you don't wanna say publicly in the comment section down below, I understand, DM me on Instagram. Let me know like your experiences or if you're from kind of like the London Kent area, Tell me where you went to if you recommend them. My eyelashes have gone like spider legs today. <laughs> I feel like it's time for me to get a lash lift and I'm also just gonna bung my hair up in a bun, which I never really have my hair like this on vlog because I don't really think I look too cute like this, but do you know what? Couldn't bother to wash my hair today, so this is what you're getting from me. The most basic bitch outfit of all time and the outfit you see me in like over and over again on YouTube, but whatever. Do you know what? I was gonna wear gym gear, but I feel like this sometimes is just as comfortable as gym gear. Shoes are Adidas, t-shirt is cos, jeans are naked fashion, and my bag is my mini Chanel. This is the look of the day. So here's my, I want to say mini perfume collection, but there's quite a lot of stuff here, you know? So this one is fairly new. This is from Killian and it's called Angel Share. I will tell you about all the notes in it, how it smells, etc. when I have a little bit more time, but I don't have time right now. This one also from Diptyque smells unbelievable. You guys know how much I love Delina. I think I've mentioned it in every single vlog for the last six months. And this is also from Perfumes de Mali. This one's called Valia or something like that. I'm probably saying it wrong terribly. Also this one from Jo Malone, Velvet Rose Oud. I used to have this when I was younger. And then I don't know why I stopped wearing it, but I did. And I recently got a new bottle of it. I've gone, yeah, a little bit crazy with perfume. Also, this one also from Killian, Moonlight in Heaven, really nice evening scent that is. But I think today I'm going to do this by Diptyque. We're in the car, the sun is shining. It wasn't actually meant to be sunny today. I am someone that watches the weather avidly because it always depends if I'm gonna shoot and things like that. I'm raising my seat up here. Um, yeah, and it was meant to be like not great today. Tomorrow is meant to be really not great, which is, yeah. It's July, it should be sunny every day. But this is England, I mean, isn't it? Yeah. I might get the egg bites. I've been wanting to try those for ages. Today. Starbucks run complete. I got the egg bites. I went for the spinach and pepper ones. I think the other one had ham and cheese, which obviously sounds better, but just don't know how I feel about eating ham like that. And then Reese got a panini. What's in your panini, babe? Uh, cheese and tomato. You can never hear anything he says. I don't even know why I bother asking him anything because he just doesn't even like to talk on vlog. Um, he got hot chocolate and I got an iced matcha. Light on the ice and oat milk with two pumps of sugar-free vanilla. So good, you know what though, the other day, I was coming back from Pilates and I got an ice matcha, but it was just made with water, no syrup in it. I mean, that's probably how you're meant to drink it and that's probably the healthiest way to drink it, but let me tell you, it was disgusting. But like, I had to chuck it in a bin. It was like drinking grass, it was awful. This is the egg bite. It looks so gross. Try it. It's actually really nice. It looks disgusting. <laughs> Reese has got his panini out the window to cool it down. This is one way to cool your food down. <laughs> it looks gross. I mean, look at this. It's, it's not the vibe, but. Mmm. It's actually so toasty. It tastes like a quiche without the pastry. Well, it basically is a quiche without the pastry. It's like a mini omelette. It's really delicious. I think the only thing I'd say is you only get two in a pack and they're about this big and truthfully you need four to satisfy you like it's not enough okay house viewing number one complete it's really ridiculous for me to vlog these kind of things like say i'm gonna vlog today because i can't actually take you on the viewing because it's someone else's house i can't be showing everyone on the internet someone else's house but it was actually pretty successful the house itself 
was it's got so much potential it's not like modern or anything like that like it needs a lot of work doing to it but overall it could be an amazing house there were a few things one big thing it being quite noisy yeah i feel like the thing is with all of all things like this there's always something that's not right so i feel like you just have to pick like what means more to you if that makes any sense you know what if they didn't have the issue with the noise i'd have put in an offer or maybe i still will i'm waiting for my dad to call me back so i always have to call my dad about all this stuff and get his advice anyway we're actually now at some car showroom i don't really know why actually look at this car as i'm getting out this is a porsche yeah i think it is wow so many nice cars so i didn't tell you guys yet but i'm actually here to pick up my new car this is it it's Ferrari. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. This is actually my new car. This Rolls Royce. Imagine. Oh my goodness. Look at these. Oh my. This is, I mean, come on guys, look at this. This is giving Beverly Hills. Look at the interior. Wow, I've never even been inside a Rolls Royce. I feel like today could be the day. Look at all these old Defenders love those there's my car behind that's not actually my car but my car is exactly the same as that one just there truthfully though guys i would quite like to get rid of my car but i feel like that's a story for another day i'd actually yeah i need to talk to you about that but yeah that is the current car i think that's my car yeah it's basically the same as that what happened to the house brochure did you leave it no you left it you're the one that took I it, left it in. in the front room god um anyway we nah, i don't need it it's not gonna i'm not gonna i feel like the more i've thought about that house it's just not gonna happen is it no hi guys we're actually on the route to house number two i feel like since seeing house number one just kind of thought about it even more basically i didn't really explain very well but it was next to a very busy main road which in certain parts of like that area you can't hear it but the only way by the only way we'd be able to tell if you can hear it like a lot or not was by actually going to see it and truthfully i just think the road is too loud like it's not loud when you're inside the house it's not loud from the front of the house but in the garden like you'd never be able to sit outside and it just be like i mean you're always gonna have a bit of noise unless you live like where my parents live where literally you could hear a pin drop but most places in the world you're gonna hear something going on which is fine, you know, like people activity or the odd car here and there is is like, you know, that's just normal, it's fine. But a dual carriageway, it's just quite, it's just, it's just too much, I think, really. Um, which is a shame because it was a really lovely house, but in truth, that house has been reduced, which is why it was now within budget. And um, I kind of now see why it's been reduced because of the road. So yeah, anyway. Why, oh why, oh why do Joe and the Juice keep sending me juices with no straw? And also, can you believe this? But Joe and the Juice have run out of tuna. They only do like six sandwiches on the menu, two of which are tuna sandwiches, and they've run out. I mean, I don't know what's going on in that particular Joe and the Juice, but they're having a bit of a nightmare today. Anyway, cheers everyone. Anyway, you're probably a little bit confused because the last time we saw each other, this actually looks so dry, don't tell me. No avocado, is that mozzarella? Do you know what? I've added the avocado, but I need to check it doesn't come with avocado because, yeah, it doesn't. It says mozzarella, tomato, and turkey, and vegan pesto. Well, I need to remember to read things before I order them. Anyway, I added my own avocado, and it's actually kind of nice. The turkey, a little bit odd, but, you know, I'm hungry, so whatever. Anyway, you're probably wondering what's going on, because the last time I think we saw each other in this vlog... I was just about to go and view, I haven't actually watched the footage back yet by the way, but I think I was just about to go and view the second house of my house viewing day. And do you know what? It was a really lovely, it was like a beautiful house. It was really big inside, the biggest house I've seen so far. Um, yeah, it had so much kind of like floor spray space. Sorry, I'm trying to put you up there. And also someone had been renting the house, so it was actually in a really, really livable condition. In fact, all of like the skirting boards, the coving, it all had like ceiling roses. It was actually really beautiful. But other than like fresh paint and ripping the carpet up, I mean, I'd probably want to change where the kitchen was. There wasn't really that much to do to it, and it was very, very livable. I mean, it needed new bathrooms as well, but you know, it was very, very livable. 
but I just, I liked the overall location. Like, you know, I like the area, of course, as I wouldn't have gone to go view the house in the first place. But it wasn't until I viewed the house I realised I didn't really like where it was kind of sat. Kind of the same as the other one that day as well, where it had a busy road. This one was also quite a busy road. Not as busy, but still busy. And I don't know, I feel like you couldn't really make it very secure. And you know what, after um, that last viewing, I just felt a little bit deflated just because you guys know this whole like buying a house thing has been going on for so long and it just, it, it doesn't like, the wrong thing to say is get you down because I feel in a very fortunate position I can even go and look at a house but I've been trying to buy a house for like three years as many of you know. Obviously in the meantime I've been renting or whatever but like it's it's been a long time. Also going to view the houses, even just searching for them online and because the location that I'm hoping to buy is actually quite a long way from where I live now. It means I have to travel every time. It's very time consuming. It's just, yeah, and I just feel like, am I ever going to find anywhere? And I know I will and everything will be fine, but I was just having like a bit of a bitch fit. Do you know what I mean? I had also a lot to do that day as well. Like I had a lot to do work-wise. And I kind of only went to go and view the houses because I thought one of them was going to be like the one, you know. And when neither of them turned out to be, I was just like... What a waste of time. But anyway, since then, I've got over how I felt. But I'm just looking at how bad my hair looks right now. Um, but I got over how I felt and I'm actually back on right move looking again. That was only a couple of days ago anyway. I did actually go shopping that afternoon because I need to pick up a few bits. So I've actually got a few things to show you guys. But today, we're just going to have a little chill at home. I've been making this dessert, which is like a really healthy yogurt berry dessert thing. I'm going to make that with you because I ate my last one from my last batch last night. I'm going to show you some of the bits that I picked up and we're just going to have a chill. I'm not going out anywhere. Um, I was actually going to go to the shops today, but to be honest, the weather is it's just tragic and it keeps raining. So I'm actually just going to have a little day in, do some admin, which I've already done a lot of admin this morning. I even went to Pilates this morning as well. Can you all give me a round of applause? Actually, no, that's a lot. I do need to go out later. I'm having my eyelashes done. I'm having my having like an LVL lift on my lashes at 4 p.m. But it's only, I think it's only like one o'clock. So and we've got plenty of time. Truthfully, I am going to be a tuna card girl forever. However, the turkey was nice. But yeah, by the way, look how ugly this chair is. Can I say, this chair was one of the only things in my entire apartment that actually came with me from my parents' house. It was meant to be temporary. This was actually my sister's chair originally at home, um, like for her dressing table, but then she moved out, she left it, I took it here, it was temporary, and now it's just, it's been here ever since. But my mum always tells me how ugly it is, and I think she's right, it really is ugly. Anyway, I wanna show you guys what I picked up the other day um, when I went shopping. So, now I'm gonna show you this jacket, and I feel like you're all gonna be like, Freya, are you on drugs today? Because it's kind of, well, it's definitely not even kind of, it's really not me, but at the same time, it is me, you just don't know this side of me. Does that even make sense? So on this jacket is my favorite colors, guys. So this is from Sandro. I actually got it from Harrods though, because they have a really big and actually very good Sandro section in there. And it gives me Chanel-esque vibes. Are any of you thinking the same? So it's denim. I'm gonna get a little bit closer for you guys. So look, it's denim, and then it's this lilac and pink tweed effect. I just really loved it. I originally saw it, I want to say like three months ago, and at the time it was full price. And at full price, it was, I think like 500 something pounds. And I just thought, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna get enough wear out of it to warrant that kind of money. And then the other day, they've taken actually the price label off. They've just left the thingy label because it was actually in the sale. So I walked past the other day, I saw it again. It just catches my eye every time. And I checked the price and it was half price. So I got it. I mean, I'm going to show you it on. So you all need to let me know what you think about this. I mean, I'm not selling it to you right now, am I? I mean, this this outfit with a pair of Lululemon leggings and this vest is just not a vibe. But imagine with a pair of kind of baggy jeans. Let's say I could wear my pink Hermes Arans, which I've even shown you on vlog that I got these. I feel like at this moment in time, I'm collecting Hermes Arans, like Pokemon cards. Seriously, my addiction to them is out of hand. I just want them in every single colour. But like, I mean, I don't even know why I'm putting these on because this actually looks ridiculous. But what do we think to the jacket? I can take it back. I can't get my money fully back, but they can give me a Harrods gift card and I can spend it anywhere in store. But I did ask the question before I bought it because I thought, am I going to love this? Like, I do love it. I actually do genuinely really love it, but not even necessarily am I going to love it. It's am I going to wear it? Is it going to go with anything? Like, I like it, but... What do we think, guys? I just love the denim detail on it. I'm kind of thinking what would look so nice with it, even though I don't own this and it's really hard to get hold of, but imagine if I had a denim mini Chanel bag 
that would match the denim on here. I'm sorry, but that would be perfection, but I don't own that bag, so I don't even know I'm thinking about that because, yeah, anyway. Let me know about the Sandro jacket. What do we think? They have so many lovely things in Sandro. I need to sort my hair out. By the way, can you see how high my leggings are right now? If you don't wear your leggings up to your boobs, you're doing it all wrong. Something else I got was, they're actually not in the box. Let me put them back in the box. Okay. I said I was collecting them like Pokemon cards and that is actually a fact I really am. I saw these a few weeks ago. I loved them, but I was thinking, am I gonna get the wear out of them that I'd like? Probably not. However, I had a job come up and it will actually be on my Instagram soon. And basically these match something that I had to feature in the video. And I'm someone that loves everything to match. And if I ever need an excuse to buy something, that was my excuse. So I got the mint green orans. I mean, let me just show you. I am sorry, but can we deal with these candy colors all together? I mean, look at that. It really is an addiction, but it's a good one. And then everything else I got was actually stuff that I'm going to take back. I bought two new t-shirts from Cos, which I just love Cos t-shirts. They're just super comfy and really good quality. I also bought this top from Cos, which is actually really boring. It's just black and it's got like a button up top to it. So I could kind of wear it with a, um, like a chunky gold necklace because obviously I can wear it open. And once again, I just thought it would look really nice with a pair of jeans or like leather trousers or something like that. It's just a really, really simple top. I bought a pair of white jeans from Cos as well, but I wore them yesterday and they're in the wash now. And the only other thing I did was a H&M order. But everything inside this, I don't actually like. But I don't know what I did with the stuff I do like. Here it is. It's actually only one thing. I thought I was keeping a top as well, like an off the shoulder top. I don't know what I did with that. I was actually gonna wear that out the other day, but I ended up not wearing it because it rained. <laughs> as I said already, it's just been raining constantly just recently. But I got this dress, it's cream and it's really textured. Once again, I'm gonna show you it up close can you see like the texture it's kind of giving bed sheets can't lie but it's also really nice like a really nice creamy color but i thought this could look cute in like a sunny destination because i may or may not be going somewhere in the not so distant future though so if you can hear that weird vacuum noise it's something outside yes yeah, so i may be maybe maybe going somewhere and I thought this would look really nice. Like, imagine with the tan. I mean, I would put it on for you guys, but truthfully, like, it's really bad. I just can't be bothered right now. But just trust me, it's really nice. It's also double lined. That's only one thing I would say. I think it's going to be quite hot. But in terms of quality, the double lining feels really luxe and it wasn't too expensive either. I got it in a size small and I would say the fit is pretty perfect. Anyway, I'm going to make myself a coffee and I'm going to show you how to make the most delicious healthy dessert ever i've been living off of them well not living off of them every night i've been having one as a treat and they are so good by the way if you're wondering why i'm wearing a cardigan and it's july it's cold like it's it's actually cold i had the aircon on last night and i woke up and it was like being in the north pole the way i'm wearing these leggings so high up it's given pregnant isn't it Do you know what someone actually wrote to me on instagram this week whoever you are i'm actually not that bothered it is what it is but someone wrote to me saying something along the lines of um like my instincts are telling me you're pregnant i was like absolutely not your instincts are all wrong i've just been eating too much honey i have to show you all the cutest thing ever i forgot about this until i just walked into the kitchen again and reminded me but last night i came home and reese the angel child that he is had done this. It's kind of looking funny now because one of the balloons has popped, but let me show you. Okay, let's ignore the avocado I've got on the side there, but I walked in last night and Reese had done this. Honestly, how cute. He had blown up these balloons and stuck them to the cabinets. It was quite funny then because I made dinner and I couldn't get in the cupboards, but I was genuinely so happy. He also got me these flowers as well, which I actually believe are like five bunches of flowers put into one vase. <laughs> and this morning, what happened was I wanted to take photos of this because he did this kind of like late last night. So when I got home from the gym, it was like this, but um, I asked him to blow this one back up because it kind of deflated slightly and it popped. So that's why that one looks like that. But when I walked in last night, it was all perfect, which is just so kind. And basically this is because I hit 700K on Instagram, which let me tell you has been a long time coming. That last 100,000 followers feels like it took forever. But truthfully, like, and this is genuinely like the truth, I don't go out here chasing the numbers. Like 
it's of course it's nice to grow and all the rest of it because whatever but at the same time like i've built such an amazing community that for me it's just more about like, loving what i do like connecting with all of you guys and that is genuine like that's not some like cringy shit that someone says online like that is actually how i feel however hitting a milestone like every sort of like hundred thousand is still a really big thing but i don't know why like this time i just didn't mention it to anyone like i feel like it's, I don't know, I just felt like it wasn't such a big thing. I think it's because it's been such a long time since I grew from 600,000, so I just didn't mention it. But of course, my mum and dad, who are just genuinely the most supportive parents ever, they noticed, well, my dad within like 30 seconds of me going to 700,000. He noticed before I did. <laughs> and then my mum noticed like 20 minutes later, bless them. They messaged me. Um, and then I kind of had thought Reese hadn't like noticed, and I don't care that he hadn't because like I don't really feel like it's a big thing or whatever. But then I came home and he had done that. So that was genuinely, like, honestly, it was so cute. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys because it's very, very kind of him. Anyway, let's make the yogurt things that you guys should all make as well because they're so good. It is so dark in here. I feel like it's about to tip it down, which is not great considering I actually want to walk to my appointment later. Although maybe it will tip it down now and it'll be fine later. That could possibly happen. That's actually one thing I would say about having a dark kitchen is when it's dark outside, and especially if this area, like your kitchen area, doesn't get a lot of light and then your kitchen's also dark, it makes everything so dark. How many times do I want to say the word dark? I'm unsure, but imagine if this was white. It would just brighten everything up. Anyway, I'm sure you've all seen, well, hopefully you haven't seen it because then I'll be showing you something new, but I'm sure you've all seen people making these um, yogurt bite frozen things on Instagram and TikTok and stuff, maybe even on YouTube because I feel like they've gone semi-viral. So first up, you need some fruit. I have got raspberries and I have got strawberries. You can use pretty much any fruit you like. I mean, in terms of a berry. So like you could do blueberries, blackberries. I don't really like blueberries if I'm honest, but I feel like they would work really well. But I think strawberries and raspberries are the best. I feel like you could even do banana as well if you wanted. So I just washed my fruit and now I'm just grabbing my yogurt. You can use any type of yogurt to be honest. Like I've used coconut yogurt. I've used regular Greek yogurt. This one is the total beige. Is that how you say it? 0% fat Greek yogurt. I've never actually used this one before. But I'm thinking in my head it will be nice because you'll see what happens with this. But basically they become frozen. They're almost like mini ice cream kind of things. The last yogurt I used was just a regular Greek yogurt. And it came out a little bit icy and a little bit watery. Where because this is such a thick yogurt, I feel like it will be almost a little bit more like an ice cream. I might be wrong. I have to let you know later on tonight. I feel so bad having to pull this down. But it's going to have to happen. So let me get my fruit. I'm going to pan you guys down. Okay, I've already started, but all I'm doing is I'm just cutting my strawberries into little cubes. They don't need to be too small, not too big, like something in between. And then just popping them into this bowl that's an empty bowl next to me. Now I just do exactly the same thing with the raspberries or whatever fruit you're using. Just cut them in half. I can't lie, my raspberries have seen better days, but... I'm gonna pop them in anyway because they'll be fine once they're frozen. Next, you're gonna get your yogurt, which you prepared earlier. I feel like I'm on Art Attack. Do any of you remember that show? I say this a lot on my channel, but I'm really showing my age with that one, but I swear that was such a good show for when I finished school. My brother and my sister used to watch that all of the time. And they used to like annoy my mum wanting to make all the stuff off of it. Anyway, I'm now just mixing in the Greek yogurt to all of this fruit. So you just wanna cover it all in the Greek yogurt. I'm now thinking that this Greek yogurt is actually too thick for this. But we're just gonna carry on. It's all going very smoothly, guys. Everything is fine. Why is it when I do things on camera, it just goes so horribly wrong, I don't know. Doesn't need to be neat. This is the kind of thing you're going for. This is fine. Next, you either need a small baking tray, a plate, or even a chopping board that you can cover, but it needs to be able to fit into your freezer. I'm gonna use this and then I'm gonna cover it with tin foil. You can also use baking paper, but I don't have any of that. So tin foil it is. Now you're gonna take your yogurt and fruit mixture and you're gonna create almost just like little balls. However, I've learned when I eat these things, I actually prefer them to be a little bit flatter. Online it says to kind of build them up like they're little like mini mountains, but I actually like them when they're flat like this. I just feel like they're so much easier to eat and then you don't break your teeth. So you're basically gonna create almost like little cookies they kind of look like. You don't want to make them too big because they're meant to just be like a little healthy snack. <laughs> so yeah, don't make like a giant cookie. I feel like this one's maybe, mm, it's okay. 
And there we have it. I'm now going to place this straight into my freezer. So on the board, it's gonna go straight in. And they now stay in the freezer until they go hard. It takes about an hour or two, maybe even less, I don't really know. It doesn't take very long for them to freeze. Once they're frozen, which will probably be later on after we get back from my eyelash appointment, we're then gonna melt some chocolate, put it over the top. They then go back into the freezer and then you eat the whole thing frozen. It's so good. Like I can't even tell you, it's delicious. Like it's so good. I use the Lint salty chocolate, so it adds a little bit of salt into there as well. It's delicious, but we'll finish them off later together. So you can kind of see how to do it, even though I feel like it's not the hardest thing in the world. If I can do it, you can do it, trust me. I feel like it is time for an iced coffee. As I just went into my freezer, I saw my ice in there and I thought, if that's not a sign to have a coffee, I do not know what is. I am basically a barista. Look at this. Honestly, it tastes as good as Starbucks and you can just do it at home. The milk frother makes all of the difference. Like, it's so good. And I'm gonna sit, enjoy my coffee. That plug socket will never not be annoying, but it's also very useful. It's so good having a plug socket that close to you on the sofa. Anyway, I'm gonna go through some emails and then we need to walk to my appointment. I've only got 50 minutes. How long does it take to walk there? Let me check. We're on the way to the salon, guys. It's actually kind of hot. And I put this really thick hoodie on, which kind of wasn't really a good idea, you know? But the weather is so like, one minute it's sunny, the next minute it's raining. So I need to be prepared for all of these weathers that could possibly happen. So I have my hood just in case. It shouldn't take me too long to walk. Well, they say in about 45 minutes. So I'm getting my steps in, guys. I can't cope. This guy is painting the scenery. Oh, so cute. I'm home for my lash appointment. Do you know what? The sun has come out now and it's blooming beautiful out there. Um, my lashes might not look that great on camera, but basically by me having the LVO lash lift, it looks how my lashes look after I curl them straight away, you know, when they're really curled, and then it stays like that. Well, usually, if I don't have a lift, they kind of go floppy straight away, or after a few hours, they're like this. So this just keeps them lifted up, and then she also tinted them as well. So they might not look amazing to you guys, because they're not like false lashes, they're just a little bit of an enhancement of my own. But I'm happy with them, they look very good. I went to Fox and Vamp, in Chelsea. I always go there. Anyway, the reason we're back in the kitchen is because my yogurt bites should be frozen. I haven't checked them yet. And this is something I prepared earlier. I've now realised as they've kind of gone a little bit flatter, I think I made them a little bit too big. I should have done them slightly smaller, truth be known, but it's fine. It's basically just having like a bowl of yogurt and fruit, so it's not like it's unhealthy or anything like that. But the next step is add in the chocolate so this i think i've already mentioned this earlier but you can use any chocolate dark chocolate i believe don't quite me is meant to be healthier than milk chocolate and i actually really like dark chocolate you can use any chocolate you like i like to use this one from lint because it's got the sea salt in it you get that little taste of salt within the sweet of the fruit i mean some people wouldn't really like that but i personally love it so the next step is i need to melt this you can either do it in a pan um on the stove but i feel like that's just really messy but another option is just to do it in a bowl in the microwave and now we have a bowl of melted chocolate so the next step is to take your little whatever you want to call these yogurt bites off of here they lift up easily you can either dip them in or you can pour the chocolate over the top some people like to coat them front and back i personally think that's too much chocolate some of you might be thinking there is never enough chocolate and i'm all for that but do you know what dark chocolate for me i feel like it's, it's quite heavy you know so i just like to do a little layer of it on the top so I just dip it into the bowl. It can be a little bit messy, but it'll be worth it. And there we have it. Pop those back into the freezer. And then later on, after dinner, I can get one out. And it's almost like an ice cream. I just need to show you all this dinner I prepared because honestly, at this point, I'm a chef. So we got salmon, tomatoes, avocado, um, prawns, halloumi. What is that? Coleslaw. I've already put that on. Well, dinner was a delight and so was my yogurt chocolate thing that I made. One thing I want to tell you all, if any of you make this, is make sure, sorry, Reese is watching Love Island because he's really into it this year. Anyway, one thing I want to tell you all if you do end up making this is make sure you leave out the freezer a good 10 minutes before you attempt eating it. Because when I first made them, the mistake I made is trying to eat it when it was too frozen. Number one, it tastes like nothing because it's just frozen and it's going to break your teeth. So you need to wait for it to kind of soften up a bit 
and then it is delicious. I actually prefer just strawberries. I shouldn't have done the raspberries, but anyway, enjoy if you make them. I'm also going to wrap this vlog up because I'm going to sit here and edit it, and hopefully it will be up tomorrow, fingers crossed, and then I'll have another vlog out on probably next Monday. Um, but yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I can't really remember what's going on in this vlog at all because it's been over a few days. But I hope whatever we've done, you've enjoyed it. And I hope you've all had a good week. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.